Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So, I'm just getting off of work. It's around 9, you know, 40, or 9.45 p.m. Uh, I'm having a Cohiba Nicaragua. Uh, I haven't had one of these before. It's been in my humidor for a little bit, so. I'm going to try this out. But... I have a bunch of shit that I gotta get done tonight. I gotta get a video up. I gotta watch a movie. I gotta study for an exam. And I've got to do some homework. So I have so much shit to do. <laughs> um, so basically, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. And how am I gonna. I did. I'm doing that by drinking a bunch of five hour energy shots. Which I finally started watching again. I did two. Because one usually doesn't work. So. And the reason that is. Is because I have an insanely. High caffeine tolerance. Um. So they. There's also other stuff in the 5 hour energy shots that. Um. Provide that aid in providing energy, like B12, and B6, and other B vitamins. But in terms of just straight caffeine, I've drank in... Uh, the way I like my Dunkin'... Well, I don't know how many of you guys are watching from the East Coast, but there's a big Dunkin' Donuts thing in the East Coast. Or big Dunkin' Donuts thing in Massachusetts. So when I go there, I prefer to get a large iced coffee with three shots of espresso and like 12 sugars. <coughs> <coughs> and, and very light on the cream. So, and from that, I can, I still, that. Wakes me up. A little. But typically I'll have that or, you know, two shots of espresso from Starbucks. So I'm, I mean, I have a really high caffeine tolerance. Sorry, I'm just investigating something on the wrapper. It's not a hole. Because <laughs> it's not a tobacco beetle hole. But it, it almost looked like it. But it's actually a solid piece of the leaf that just is circular in a different color. <laughs> so I was like, huh? <clears throat> but false alarm. So, right now I'm just kind of, just kind of relaxing a little bit before I start everything. I'm watching uh, stand-up comedian Billy Connolly. If you, he's one of my probably favorite stand-up comedians. Now, Robin Williams was my favorite, but unfortunately, uh, circumstances. Uh, Robin Williams still is my favorite, but uh, Billy Connolly is a close second. So. Huh. Something's up with this cigar um, in terms of smoke output. Uh, because I'm having to double puff to get smoke out of it. No. 
I swear if I heard this. Okay, <clears throat> mumbling to myself. See what I mean? Not getting any smoke in this. I've got a feeling for a knot in the roll somewhere. It's already getting like hot like an inch down, so I have no idea what's going on. This is frustrating. <laughs> this is incredibly frustrating. I mean, I've had this in my human herb for a while, so it should be at the right acclimation. So I'm kind of thinking that this might be bullshit. Because the wrapper is not burning at all. Yeah, it's incredibly light on the smoke. Point where I don't even know if I can get any flavor out of it. It's so light. It's frustrating. It's fucking hell. So far, not very impressed. Luckily, I didn't buy. Well, I did buy these, but I didn't specifically order these. Like. And specifically order this myself. I got it as a sampler or in a mixed bag sampler that I get from Thompson every month. It's getting better. Still not impressed though. I'm not happy that I have to basically double puff to get anything out of it. Okay, there we go. I don't know what it was or... But that's that's really all I have for this vlog. Um, got the rental car finally. Um, yeah, I got the rental car, and uh, it's kind of weird. Um, it has a push button start and a rear backup camera and stuff. I know I look young, but I'm kind of traditional, meaning um, I don't like many. I'm traditional in a lot of ways in terms of how I do things in terms of like driving. I mean, I'd, the one thing I regret about learning to drive is I never learned how to drive a manual transmission. I'm going to get a manual transmission car solely to learn how to drive a manual transmission. So, uh, but that's something I've wanted to do. Uh, but I also, I mean, automatic great. In fact, it's great for, you know, city driving because it's so much pain in the ass when you're stopping and going and, um, but it's, um, oh my god, form a coherent thought. Uh, but like, the backup camera, fucking push button start, 
But what's funny about this car is that it has a push button start and it's wire and it has like the automatic door opener, no key at all. Yet it still has key like entry <laughs> to to like unlock it with a key. Except it has no keys. So I'm like, what the fuck? It's, why do you have a a key entry option because you you have that key slot in the door, but you have no keys. Uh, it's like, is it just for show? Or whatever. <laughs> Once again, I'm back to getting no smoke out of this thing. What the fuck? And it's getting... I'm gonna do something. <sighs> Um, maybe I won't be doing something. Yeah, it's going out. It's going out after... One size one to burn, one size not. This really shit cigar so far, and it could just be this one. But this is annoying. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I'm actually gonna. I melted the end of the pen, pencil, so it's still burning. It's just not burning very well. It's just frustrating ever to live in. Starting to get some flavor out of it. <clears throat> but oh my god, this cigar is frustrating. Cohiba Nicaragua. Remind me not to buy these. <laughs> I mean, I might chance buying one more, just or maybe two more, just to try. To make sure they're all, if they're all shit, then I'm never gonna hit. Okay, I'm starting to get some more out of it, but it's just, it's irritating because it's not, like this one isn't, so, so far it's not been very fun to smoke. But back on to what I would, let's see what I was saying. Oh yeah, just, Wait, just push button and start. Like, also, <clears throat> rear view cameras. I have a little pet peeve with them. Because 
it doesn't really if you look turn around you get a much better especially the, I mean I could understand a rear view camera in a truck because when I had my big pickup I used to drive a really big pickup truck I mean big pickup truck <laughs> uh, you know the long bed the extended cab the thing was a fucking boat <laughs> so and I had a big giant bump you know one of those giant caps on it with roof rack the thing was like eight eight and a half feet tall, you know, where I was worried about hitting, like, the clearance signs, that's how tall it was, and, um, like, that truck, I could not see the roof of cars behind me, so, like, a rear view camera for that, I could understand, but for a little dinky car, trust me, you get much better views, you just look out the back, <laughs> and you get much better, it's just a safety thing, I think the rear view cameras, in terms of I think people are reliant, too reliant on them, or can become too reliant on them. Uh, I think it's much better, at least from what I'm used to. Just, I don't know, it's just, take some of the skill out of driving. <laughs> and back to babying this damn cigar. So, you know what? Fuck it. Not worth it. I will light up another one. So this will, this cigar vlog will be called Shitty Cigar. Um, I don't know if that was just a dud, or if it was just the way it was, but that was fucking bad. Just the amount of, I had to baby that one. So, I will light up a different one. Um, so yeah, that, yeah, that was fancy. So, uh, that's all I have for this one. Uh, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.